In this video, we'll be discussing about the protein phosphorylation and dephosphorylation. This event is the post-translational modification event. To begin with, the phosphorylation is the addition of phosphate group to the protein. And dephosphorylation is the removal of phosphate group from protein. And to accomplish these processes, we have two enzymes for this. First, we have the protein kinase that drives the phosphorylation. And then we have the protein phosphatase that drives the dephosphorylation. So it all revolves around the phosphate group. If we see, it is the phosphate group which is added towards the amino acid residue of protein. And the most common amino acids which are phosphorylated are the serine, threonine, histidine, tyrosine. And there are other amino acids which can be phosphorylated also. But these ones are the most common. Here we have the serine, threonine, tyrosine amino acids. Among all these three amino acids, we have the common hydroxyl group, that's OH, on which phosphorylation occurs. To start the phosphorylation reaction, we have the ATP molecule here. This ATP molecule reacts with the hydroxyl group of amino acid in presence of protein kinase enzyme, thereby providing the one phosphate towards the amino acid residue, thus leaving us the ADP and phosphoamino acid. Moreover, this is reversible reaction too, as shown in the diagram, where water reacts with phosphoamino acid in presence of protein phosphatase, which ultimately removes the phosphate from amino acid. And this is our dephosphorylation event. Now let's see these reactions in detail, taking serine as an example. Here in this diagram, we have the serine molecule having hydroxyl group OH. And then protein kinase mediates the reaction in presence of ATP molecule which provides us the phosphate group. In this reaction, first proton leaves off the amino acid and then phosphate group attaches with the remaining oxygen atom of amino acid as shown in the animation, thus completing the phosphorylation reaction. The in-depth mechanism for this reaction will be discussed in the next part of the video. Now what purpose the phosphorylation serves? We know many enzymes, receptors, ligands, signaling complex proteins are turned on and off by phosphorylation. Like we have some basic proteins or complexes that are regulated by phosphorylation and dephosphorylation. We have sodium potassium ATPase protein. We have RTK receptor, the cross phosphorylation activates it. Then we have CTD, that's carboxy terminal domain of RNA polymerase 2. And on it, the pattern of phosphorylation determines the phase of transcription. Like at initiation, we have phosphorylation of serine 5. At elongation, we have phosphorylation of serine 2 and serine 5. And at termination, we have phosphorylation of serine 2. And we also see crosstalk between ubiquitination and phosphorylation 2. And there are hundreds of signaling pathways where phosphorylation and dephosphorylation regulate the activation and deactivation of numerous proteins and enzymes. So this is what phosphorylation and dephosphorylation is. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.